the times mark the symbol for multiplication. In the new method for multiplication, you will see that there is no carry, so it is very different from the traditional method. In our first example, we will multiply 392 by 3. We will do 3 times 2, 3 times 9, and 3 times 3. In our first multiplication, 3 times 2 is 6. The 6 is in the column where the 2 is in the 392. 3 times 9 is 27. The product, 27. The 7 digit starts under the 9. Now we see the 2. The 2 is in the next column to the left of the 7 and it goes up as high as it can. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 is in the column where the 3 is in the 392. Now we will add the numbers up from the products. Our first number is 6. Our next number is 7. 2 plus 9 is 11. There's the first one. And now we see the second one of 11. We are about to see the second example for multiplication, a new method. Our first product in 456 times 7 is 42. The 2 is under the 6, which is in the 1's column. The 4 is in the next column to the left of 2. 7 times 5 is 35. The 5 is in the column under the 5 column in the 456. The 3 is in the next column to the left of 5 in the 35 and it goes up as high as it can. 7 times 4 is 28. The 8 is in the column that the 4 is in in the 456. Here we see the 2 of the 28 in the next cell to the left, but it moved up one row. So it's in the next column to the left as high as it can go up. Notice the individual products, 42, 35, and 28. The 2 is in the 1's column, 35. The 5 is in the 10's column, 28. The 8 is in the 100's column. So we have to go over one column to the left each time we start a new product. Now we will add up the individual product. So we start with 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 plus 8 is 11. There's the 1. The next one is going to go in the next column to the left and up as high as it can go. And there we see the 1 in the next column to the left. And 2 plus 1 is and there we see the 3 for our final answer, 3,192. The third example will be a two-digit number times a two-digit number. Our example, 46 times 73. We've already done an example like 46 times 3. So what we have to be concerned with is the position of the digits from 7 times 46. On our first multiplication, 3 times 6 is 18. There's the 8. And there's the 1 in the next column to the left of 8. 3 times 4 is 12. So we see the 2. Now we see the 1 with the 12. And it went up in the column to the left, up as high as it could go. Now we have to multiply 7 times 46. The first product. 7 times 6 is 42. The 2 will start in the tens column. The 4 is in the next column to the left and it goes up as high as it can go. For our next multiplication, 7 times 4 is 28. The 8 goes in the next column to the left relative to the first product for 7 times 46 which is 42. 
Now we see the 2 in the next column relative to the 8 and the 28, and it went up as high as it could go. Now all we have to do is to add the numbers up to find the final product. Our first sum is 8. Our second sum is 5. Our third sum is 13. There's the 3. There's the 1. And the final sum is 3. Our fourth example will be a three-digit number times a three-digit number. Our problem is to do 2 times 927, 9 times 927, and 8 times 927. If we know where to start the individual products, the problem is relatively simple. So, when we start with the 2, we start in the 1's column. When we multiply by the 9, we start in the 10's column. And when we multiply by 8, we start in the 100's column. There is the 4 for the 14 with 2 times 7. And it started in the 1's column. And there's the 1 next to the 4. 2 times 2 is 4, and that will be under the 1 because it's in the next column to the left of the original 4 with 14. 2 times 9 is 18. There's the 8, and there's the 1. Now, we're going to do 9 times 927. Again, we will start the products in the tens column because in 892, 9 is in the tens column. We see the 6 with the 63. It's in the next column to the left of 3, and it went up as high as it could go. Now we see the 8, and the 8 is from 9 times 2 is 18. And we see the 1 is in the next column to the left of 8, and it went up as high as it could go. Now, we have to do 9 times 9, 81. So there's the 1, and there's the 8. Notice the 8 is up as high as it could go. Now we're going to do 8 times 927. Where do they start? 8 is in the hundreds column. So when we do 8 times 7, 56, we will start in the hundreds column. There's the 5 with the 56. 8 times 2, 16. There's the 6. And there's the 1. It's in the next column to the 6, and it went up as high as it could go. Now we see a 2 has been added. That's from 8 times 9 is 72. There's the 7 in the column to the left of 2, and it went up as high as it could go. Now we have to add all the numbers, the blue numbers, the red numbers, and the green numbers for the final sum. So we have a 4. Now 1 plus 4 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. So we have two 14s, which is 28. There's the 2 in the next column to the left. And we have to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2. And that's 16. There's the 6. And there's the 1 in the next column to the left. Now we have to add 8, 1, 2, and 1. And that's 12. And we see the 1 in the next column to the left. We still have to add 7 and 1. And there we see the 8 for our final product. You have just seen four examples for the new method for multiplication. In the fourth example, the new method for addition was used to find the final product. In the book, Advancements in Elementary Mathematics, there are a lot of exercises for the new method for addition, the new method for subtraction, the new method for multiplication, and the new method for division. All the problems have detailed answers. So the answers will look like the multiplication examples for the final step. So it's not just showing what the final answer is. It's showing what all the digits are and where they were placed to find the final answer. Ordering information is below. If you need to email me for any reason, there's my email address below.